So let's see if we can push the first question here. So this is sort of a question uh, from uh, me as a moderator. And uh, now, during your lectures here, you have been discussing with different types of cases, uh, different loading protocols, and I think this is sort of a very important statement. And sometimes uh, there's misconceptions in dentists starting to use uh, OSTED and ISQ readings as to when you actually are using the instrument. Uh, so I would like to maybe you can start, Jay, on elaborating a little bit about that. So the, the question is, when do I use it? Yeah. Uh, I use it on every patient, on uh, every implant placement at stage one, uh, at loading, or at stage two. So So it's sort of important is that it's sort of considered as a biological process, and it's dynamic, and you should do several readings. I do. Yeah. I, I do. I think that it's, uh, it, it, having a baseline is crucial because you don't know where you started if you, if you intervene somewhere after the implant's placed. So I always try to have it at, at placement. And then how many times I do it afterwards depends a little bit on the case, particularly. But we usually have at least two readings, one at placement and one at loading. Yeah. 